Okay, so the first thing to consider when you think about getting your horse on the bit is that at the end of the day, it's just pressure and release. So when you put a certain pressure in your horse's mouth, you want them to give to that pressure, basically to release to the pressure. And where people get in trouble, I think, is that they're not consistent about the pressure, they're not consistent about the release. Um, we end up just kind of hanging in our horse's mouths, never really getting a release to the pressure. So for example, with this horse, if I take up contact, so I'm gonna shorten my reins up. Here I'm gonna feel kind of each corner of his mouth. I have a little pressure. I'm gonna do just a little more until I feel there he, re he put his head a little down. So when he puts his head down, you see I, I slightly give my hands forward in that moment. What you don't wanna do is that when they put their head down, you just keep pulling, 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 pulling because he never got a, a release for doing the right thing. So again, if I want my horse to put his head down, I start, I get a little pressure, he gives a little bit, his head down, and then I give back to him. I start asking again, he drops a little more, then I give a little back to him. And, and when you give, like you don't wanna to totally throw him away or he's gonna just put his head back up. So, but you do wanna give a little bit and reward. You always wanna re reward the slightest try. So if you feel him just try a little bit in the right direction, you wanna reward that. Let me try to get this from a different angle, maybe where you can see just him a little more. Okay, so here he is. He's kind of just, he's not on the bit here. He's just on a loose rein, kind of looking around. So when I take up the contact, again, you see, because it's kind of a close up on him, I take a little pressure on both reins and, and it, at first I'm just really passive and soft. So here I have a little pressure and I'm passive and soft. Now if I want him to go a little rounder, I'm gonna just a little squeeze with my left ring, left ring finger, right ring finger, get him to drop. And then he dropped a little there, so I'm gonna be soft again. And then I'm gonna take a little and say, hey, drop your neck a little more, there. And then I'm gonna be soft again. And then I'm gonna ask him to drop a little more little rounder come on there and then soft again and i'm kind of like when at the moments that he's resisting i kind of am sliding the bit a little left and right across his tongue left right give left right give oh boy so i think that that's you know the probably the most important thing to to getting your horse on the bit is pressure and release so when you put pressure on the bottom of their mouth, they have to give. And then when they give, you have to release. You can't just keep holding, holding, holding. You know, too many people, they rely on their reins to balance themselves when they're going forward, so the horse never gets a, a release from the pressure. So I'll start again here. I, put, I take my hands, I feel each corner of his mouth. He dropped his neck a little, so I'll be soft for a second. Then I'll say, hey, come on, a little rounder, then soft. And I'm exaggerating a little the giving. You can just give a little bit and kind of relieve the pressure without like having to do this every time. Because if you, if you throw your reins back at them, then they're gonna put their head up again. There, good boy. And, and this is what you want. So you wanna get to the point that your horse is really round, but that you can give and the head doesn't come up. So you see, I can give rein and the head doesn't come up. You, you want your horse in self-carriage, so he's round, but he's not held there. Let me see if I can show you that a little closer up here. So here you can see he's in a frame, but I'm not holding him here. So he's nice and round, but I can give the rein, I can soften the rein, and he doesn't put his head up right away. Boy. So let me see if I can get him to put his head up again. Put your head up, Dion. There, good boy. Oh, you're a good boy. So then I can start again. I can take a little pressure on each side of his mouth. And don't just pull straight back a little bit. Vibrate that bit. He gives a little. Vibrate the bit. Vibrate the bit. No, there he's resisting and thinking of backing up. If your horse backs up, you need to put a little leg on and ask him to step forward. There, good boy. Good. It's 
So getting your horse to go on the bit can be a really um, challenging thing, but I think just remembering that idea of pressure and release. Like when you put pressure on the bit, you want your horse to give and then release to them. Pressure and release. And eventually they'll figure out that if they tuck that nose in and if they drop their neck, if the pressure on their mouth goes away, then they'll kind of start to seek that. You know, horses, they don't like having pressure. So they're always trying to get the pressure to go away. Especially I think the, the pressure in their mouth can't be comfortable. You know, having like a metal thing pulling on your tongue can't be comfortable. Um, let me also show you a little how I use my arms. If I can get in a good view here. So, so it's important when you take contact that you have a little bend in your elbows and that you can kind of move your fingers like open and close like this, open and close your hands on the rein. What you don't want to do is you don't want to just have a, like a straight arm like this or like turning your hands out or doing anything weird like that. If your arm is straight, your arm is stiff. So you always want to have a bend in your elbow and then be able to kind of independently move your fingers so that the bit slides across their tongue. Boy.